Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing JavaScript array methods. We have already discussed push method and pop method. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss unshift method and shift method. We already know what is an array, right? Array is a collection of data elements or data values. What is an array? Array is a collection of values. Arrays are created to store multiple values in a single variable. Normally, a variable holds single value guys. If you want to store multiple values in a single variable, then you are going to create a variable of type array. We already know how to create a variable of type array using literal notation. How do we create array guys? We write var, then we write the array name equal to in between pair of square brackets, we write comma separated list of values and then semicolon. For example, here I am saying var std names, std name is the array name equal to in between pair of square brackets, I have written list of students names and then semicolon. Let's create this array. I minimize the word. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code written. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I have written script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default page. Title is set to default page. Here inside the script tag, I say var std std names equal to in between pair of square brackets, I say in double quotations, Ram, comma, in double quotations, I say here Ravi, comma, in double quotations, I say Raju, comma, in double quotations, I say Raghu, comma, in double quotations, I say Gopal, and then semicolon. So that is how we create an array using literal notation. Also, I told you what happens inside the memory when this code is executed. What happens guys? Computer checks how many values are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values are there. Okay. It goes to memory. It creates a memory block. It creates a memory block containing 5 memory locations. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. To this entire memory block, it gives the name std names. That is our array name. And inside these memory locations, it puts the values that is Ram, then Ravi, then Raju, then Raghu, then Gopal. And we know that arrays follow zero based indexing. So the first element in the array is going to have the index zero. Next element is going to have index one. Next element is going to have index two. Next element is going to have index 3. Next element is going to have index 4. So that is what happens inside the memory. That's what happens inside the memory when this line of code is executed. Now we know how to create an array and we know what happens inside the memory. Let's understand how to display an array. To display the array or the values inside the array, you just need to say the array name. I come here. I say document dot write in brackets. I say std names. That's the array name. So definitely we see output displayed Ram, comma, Ravi, comma, Raju, comma, Raghu, comma, Gopal. So all the array elements are displayed. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu, Gopal are displayed. Next we understand how to display the length of an array. Length means total elements available in the array. At present we have five elements, right? So if we say array name dot length, it displays the number of elements at present available in the given array guys. If I go here, I'm going to copy this code, paste down. I add a line break. I use here the br tag and then I copy this code, paste down. I just see here std names dot length. 
So length is a property available in every array. You just write the array name dot length. It returns the total elements available in the array at present. We have five elements, so it shows five. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, now we understood how to create an array, how to display the array. We understood how to display the length of the array. Let's understand the unshift and shift methods. Those are array methods. Unshift method adds one or more elements to the beginning of the array and returns the new length of the array. What unshift method does? It adds one or more elements to the beginning of the array and returns the new length of the array. The syntax is we call the unshift method. We pass list of arguments here and then it returns a number where args indicates one or more elements you just pass here list of values separated by comma and the number indicates the new length of the array okay for example if i say stood names dot unshift hitesh what happens hitesh is added to the beginning of the stood names array and at present we have five elements so when hitesh is added how many elements will be having in the array six so it returns the new length of the array that is six guys let me show that i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down i copy this line of code and paste down here i say stood names dot unshift bracket bracket i say here the value hitesh should be added so what happens when this code is executed we want to add one element so what computer does is it creates one more memory location it creates one memory location because we want to add one element if we are adding two elements then it creates two memory locations guys okay so here just creates one memory location and it is going to have the index 5 and then it shifts these elements down so gopal comes down then ragu comes down then raju comes down then ravi comes down then ram comes down and at this zeroth index it puts hitesh okay so what unshift method does unshift method adds one or more elements to the beginning of the array it adds one or more elements to the beginning of the array and what it does it returns the new length of the array so how many elements we have now one two three four five six right so if i just save this file save go to browser and refresh you see it is showing six so that's what the unshift method is doing it is adding hitesh to the beginning of this array and returning the new length so we will get here six i'm going to copy this line of code and paste down now i am going to display this new array by using this code i copy this code and paste down i'm just saying stood names definitely first you should see hitesh displayed and then ram ravi raju raghu gopal that's a new array file save go to browser and refresh see hitesh ram ravi raju raghu gopal definitely if you say here if i copy this code and paste down and if i say here stood names of zero definitely you will see hitesh displayed guys file save go to browser and refresh see hitesh is at the zeroth index i hope you guys are clearly understanding what happens when you say stood names dot unshift let's understand shift method shift method removes the element at the beginning of the array and returns that element back what shift method does it removes the element at the beginning of the array and returns that element the syntax is we just call the shift, fu shift function and here star indicates the first element in the array like for example if i say stood names dot shift what happens from the stood names the first element it removes and the first element is hitesh so it removes the hitesh and it returns what i am removing hitesh that's what it tells you and if you display stood names you will just see ram ravi raju ragu gopal let's see that one what i do i copy this line of code and paste down i copy these two lines of codes and just paste here this time i call just shift method okay 
I call the shift method. So when you say stood names dot shift, what happens? Let me tell you. What computer does is it removes this Hitesh text from here. It pushes the Ram up. It pushes the Ravi up. Raju goes up. Raghu goes up. Gopal goes up. And it removes this empty memory. Understanding? So that's what the shift does. It removes the first element from the array. Okay. So and it returns what? The element it has re removed. That is Hitesh. So we'll see here Hitesh displayed. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see Hitesh is displayed. Because the shift method is telling that I just removed Hitesh. And we can display the array. So to display the array, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Definitely you will see the output displayed. Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu, Gopal. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, Hitesh is removed. And you can see if I copy these lines of codes and uh, paste down. If I say std names of zero, this time at the zeroth index we have Ram. So definitely you will see Ram displayed. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See? So that is how unshift and shift method work guys. If I say once again, for example, if I copy this code and paste down std names dot shift, what it does? It removes the element in the beginning that is Ram. So it removes the Ram and returns that text Ram. So what happens here is it removes the Ram from the first here, right? So Ravi is pushed up, then Raju goes up, then Raghu goes up, then Gopal goes up. And this memory is removed. Now we have only four elements. You can see, you will see RAM displayed if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see RAM displayed. And we can display this new array. Definitely you will not be having RAM. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You have Ravi, Raju, Raghu and Gopal. And if I copy this code and paste down, you will be having here Ravi guys. File, save, go to browser and refresh. So, stood names of zero is Ravi. So, that is how unshift and shift method work. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about arrays. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.